Let's talk about circulating growth plate theory. In the example that I mentioned, why did the leg grow longer? Was it because of growth plates? Or was it because of vascularization? What was the primary factor that determined the length of that long bone in her leg? Was it the growth plate or was it vascularization? What was it? Was the resultant length of her bone because of what was delivered to the bone via blood vessels? the delivery system for the entire body, including the bone. We get a cut, we see red. That's blood. Blood delivers things to living tissues of the human body. Blood is like, you know, there's a plate, we have a spoon. I kind of think of blood as the spoon. Might be not the best word, but in a way it is the spoon. Because you have the food on the plate. And then you have the spoon that brings the food on the plate to the mouth. Okay. Maybe there could be a better illustration, but blood delivers nutrients to certain parts of the body. So, one of her bones, because from what I remember, it was trying to heal and stuff, and something happened to where that bone became more vascular, so it actually became longer than the bone in the other leg. I would attribute that, I won't use the term, let me use it, let me, let me, let me just say, I would, you, you could say it was a growth plate, but what kind of growth plate? Perhaps a, a secondary growth plate, which we might call the circulating growth plate. Now, why would that make sense? Well, let's talk about the growth plate. Not the secondary growth plate, but what we will call the primary growth plate. The same growth plate we read about in science books. The same growth plate you learned about in school. The same growth plate you learned about in college. The same growth plate that is all over the internet. What is a growth plate, really? A growth plate is a collection of ingredients conveniently placed right within the bone. Many people call it a disc of hyaline cartilage. But what is cartilage made of? Ingredients.
the growth plate is has all the ingredients for hyaline cartilage and it's nicely packaged and conveniently placed. Just because these ingredients are nicely packaged and conveniently placed for all practical purposes, it, does that mean we still can't get those ingredients elsewhere? Must the ingredients always be nicely packaged and conveniently, conveniently placed? Must they always? Sometimes if you want to bake a pie, All the ingredients are in your home, right next to the oven. Perhaps the refrigerator is right by the oven. Perhaps the cupboard where you keep certain spices, right by the oven. The conveniently placed ingredients can perhaps be viewed as the growth plate is right there where you need them. A circulating growth plate might be compared to, okay, the, in, the ingredients are not conveniently placed at home. So I have to go shopping for those ingredients. I have to go shopping. Now, since I have to go shopping, it's going to take a little bit of time, a little bit more time, and a little bit more energy. Okay? I will have to go to the store to get the ingredients and bring them and deliver them to my home. I, my car, take my car, go to the store, put the ingredients in the car, you know, check out and everything, put the ingredients in the car, and deliver them to my home. 